Today we're going to take a look at the best hitch options for your 2019 Ram 1500. Here we have your top four hitches for your Ram 1500. Here we're going to have e-trailers, class three hitch. This one over here, we're going to have Kurtz class three hitch. Here on our rack on the bottom, we're going to have draw tights class five. Here on the top, we're going to have Kurtz class five. As far as ease of installation, I'm going to have to give that to the two class three hitches. As far as weight capacity, I'll have to give that to the Kurt. As far as durability, I'm gonna have to give that to E-Trailer's Class 3 hitch and the Kurt, because it's gonna have a triple carbide black powder coat finish. As far as my personal opinion, um, I don't do a whole lot of heavy hauling, so I would go with the E-Trailer Class 3 because of the durability of the finish. If I did do heavy hauling, I would go with the Kurt, uh, it's going to have the same finish as the e-trailer hitch and it's going to have the highest weight capacity. Let's go over some of the differences between these hitches. Our class 3 hitches are going to be more for your light duty towing. Our class 5 hitches are going to be more for your heavy duty towing. They're going to work on the 1500, however the towing weight capacity of these hitches is going to exceed the gross towing capacity of the truck. Differences between our two class 3 hitches. Our e-trailer hitch is going to have a matte black triple carbide black powder coat finish which is really gonna hold up well against chipping and scratching, where a Kurt is gonna have a single black powder coat finish. Let's talk about the difference between our two class five hitches. With our draw tight, our safety chain loops, our receiver tube, it's all one piece of forged steel welded onto the cross tube. With our Kurt, we're actually gonna have three separate pieces. You have your receiver tube, you have your safety chain loop, and then your cross tube are all separate pieces that are welded together. That's gonna to make our draw tight a lot stronger on our receiver tube. Another difference between these two is this hole right here on our draw tight is for a J-pin stabilization device. What that does, it takes the shake and play out of any of your hitch mount accessories. Our safety chain loops on our draw tight, you can see they're very large in size, very thick piece of steel. With our Kurt, we're gonna have a plate style and our safety chain loops are a little bit smaller, so that may limit us on what size safety chain hooks we can use. Now let's go over weight ratings between these two. With our draw type, we're gonna have a 1,500 pound max tongue weight, which is a downward pressure on the inside of the receiver tube, and a 12,000 pound gross trailer weight, which is a trailer plus the load included. With our Kurt, they're gonna have a little bit of an advantage there. Kurt actually has a 1,500 pound max tongue weight and a 15,000 pound trailer weight. Now, both of these hitches you can use weight distribution. With our draw tight, our tongue weight stays 1,500, however our trailer weight goes up to 15,000. Kurt, tongue weight goes up to 1,600, trailer weight goes up to 16,000. That being said, always recommend checking the owner's manual of your vehicle to make sure the vehicle can withstand that amount of weight. You always wanna go with the lowest number between the vehicle and the hitch. With our two class three hitches, the weight ratings are gonna be the same. 600 pound max tongue weight, and a 6,000 pound gross trailer weight. Both of these, again, you can use weight distribution with these two also. Tongue weight's gonna to go up to 1,000 pounds, trailer weight's gonna go up to 10,000 pounds. Again, always recommend checking the owner's manual of the vehicle to make sure the vehicle can withstand that amount of weight. Now let's go over similarities. Class threes. Safety chain loops are gonna be plate style and they're gonna run vertically. Hitch pin hole is gonna be 5 8 inch in diameter. Receiver tube opening is gonna be two inch by two inch. Installation on these two are gonna be exactly the same. With our class fives, receiver tube openings two inch by two inch. Hitch pin hole is gonna be 5 8 inch in diameter. Safety chain loops are gonna be plate style. However, they're gonna run horizontally underneath the receiver tube opening. As far as the installation, with our Kurt, we're gonna have three attachment points on the frame rail. Our draw tight is gonna install the same, however, we're gonna have one extra bolt that's gonna be attached to the frame rail. That'll do it for a look at the best hitch options for your Ram 1500.